Have you ever been to an art museum in Thailand, like this one, or this one, stared at all those weird and wonderful pictures, and thought to yourself, what was going on, what was going on in the artist's head when he drew these paintings? What did he even draw them in the first place? Or if you are a really critical thinker, how does the style of the artwork reflect the background of that time period? What does the artist want to express? Now we all know that Thailand has a rich history deeply rooted in Buddhism. But do you know that Thailand's culture, religion, society, and of course art underwent massive changes in the 1900s and transformed it into a modern country? The changes in culture, society, and technology are documented and shown through art. So, without further ado, we will embark on a journey as we explore how Thai paintings developed over the 20th century. We will begin our journey across time by visiting one of Thailand's most significant modern artists, Kro In Kong. Now, you could argue that Kro In Kong lived a certain 50 years before the 20th century and therefore won't fall into the 20th century scope, but he was such an important figure in Thai art history that it would be impossible not to include him. Why? We'll find out. So, in the beginning of the Ratnagosin era, when Thailand was still called Siam and consisted of a bunch of feudal states, Thai classical art mainly came in the form of temple mural paintings. These paintings were deeply rooted in religion, primarily Theravada Buddhism, and unsurprisingly, the artists of that time were temple monks, as back then monks also served as missionaries, teachers, barbers, doctors, and so forth. But as time passed, European explorers and traders came in contact with Siam. They brought in Western goods, knowledge, and culture, and gradually they began to fuse the Thai culture, and that meant that Thai art was going to meet a reformation. By the time of King Rama IV, an artist would revolutionize how Thai art was drawn. His name, as you guessed, was Kro In Kong, and unfortunately we couldn't find a picture of him because people still don't really know what he looked like. Like all Thai artists back then, Kro In Kong was a Thai monk, but Unlike all the Thai monks back then, he started incorporating Western realist styles and perspective techniques into his artworks. Kro In Kong was one of King Rama IV's favorites, and his temple murals could, be, could still be seen in several temples in, Bang, in Thailand, like Wat Brom Niue Mihan in Bangkok and Wat Mahasamanara. In fact, here are some of his artworks. Now you can see that Kro In Kong's paintings are very different to traditional Thai ones. They have uses of European art styles such as perspective and bird's eye view. They have elements of European cities and towns. And also, because Kro In Kong was a Buddhist monk, they also have they also stand as Tama puzzles that teach Buddhist value. So how does Kro In Kong impact Thai art? His paintings mark the breaking of temple conventions for the first time, and they also introduced European art styles to Thai art. Because of these two factors, it paved road to the upcoming contemporary Thai art, signaling that Thai art was never going to be the same again. And that, ladies and gentlemen, ends the first chapter of our journey. You wonder, what will be next? Watch part 2, and we will witness the Anatasmakum Throne Hall, Thailand's most beautiful art museum.